Welcome everyone to this week's fixture on TV TV, which is from the Black Gold Stadium, in which the Dolphins welcome Swindon Supermarine in the Southern League. Hopefully, hopefully, Noah has removed his heart from the pitch. Noah with the 2x2 two two Nolan sisters for some in the mood dancing romantic packs. Over to you girls. Cheers Steve-O for that invigorating introduction. Well, the Dolphins go into this match 8th in the league and unbeaten in the last four. They have a heavy fixture backlog, but they boast one of the best defensive records in the league, having only conceded 23 goals in 21 games. This match is another good chance for the Dolphins to climb up the table and challenge for the playoff places. I'm going to hand you over to Aaron. He's going to give you the update on Swindon Supermarine. Over to you, Aaron. Let's have it. Thanks for that, Dino. Cheers, mate. No worries. Carry on. Now, Swindon Supermarine have had a great run of form recently. However, they did lose last weekend, so it'll be interesting to see how they handle that coming into this match. Both teams are strong. I think I'm going to go for a 2-2. What's your thoughts, Dino? Cheers, Aaron. You've gone for a Desmond there. Good lad. I am going to go for a tight affair here, guys. Uh, obviously, a decent ref as well, so I'm saying a 1-0 win for the Dolphins. I really am. And uh, over to the chairman of the company. Hello, everybody. Hello. Tony, what's the drill, mate? What are you saying? I agree with you. I think this is going to be a tight affair. There's not a lot between the two sides in their recent form, so I am going to go for a single goal victory, but I'm going to say 2-1. Sean, could you take us home? This quality production has been brought to you by TBTV. Oh, yeah, let's have it. Yeah. Yes, <laughs> let's have it. <laughs> We've got underway at the Black Gold under the blazing sun. It's nice to get a game on and long may that continue. The pitch was a little bit heavy in places but um, looked in, in pretty good shape to be fair. <laughs> The first half chance of the game came courtesy of a massive punt down pitch that eventually ended up at the feet of Harry Williams, but Luke Kearney was off his line and smothered well. On, Having picked up a particularly um, enthusiastic fan, uh, Paul's first chance of the match fell courtesy of Luke Pardo here, uh, feeding Will Spetch, and his eventual shot goes across the goal, but just misses the far post, but a decent first effort. Other than those few early attempts, the first uh, 15 minutes or so went by pretty quickly with not too much to write home about. The opening goal, however, came from this fine move. Brooks feeds Pardo on the right. He does a nice little uh, cut inside. Feeds it in, controlled by Spetch and then to Brooks. What a hit that was. <laughs> that opening goal combined with uh, keeping Swindon at bay uh, pretty easily it has to be said filled Paul with confidence and they started spraying the ball around nicely Yeah. 
This time it's the newfound hitman Will Spetch that benefits. Ricochet comes back to him and he finds the far corner. It's becoming a bit of a trademark finish that far corner for him, but again, cracking goal, 2 0 on 20 minutes. <laughs> With confidence flowing through the team, it wasn't long before Brooks was set free again. He controls a nasty bobble well, and you like to think that if he'd hit it as well as he did the first one, that would have been necessarily in the top corner. Swindon Supermarine attacks were uh, becoming a, a rare event. This one ended up with Louis Spalding having a shot, but Kearney deals with it. The Dolphins continued to press and carve out some half chances, I guess it would be uh, more fair to say. Swindon Supermarine, however, although they were breaking very occasionally, and you'll see by the highlights there was hardly anything to show, but they seemed to be lacking a real dynamism in their, in their play. There was no, uh, no one picking them up by the scruff of the neck and getting them going. Um, it was a very, very tepid first half performance indeed. Jack doing that, doing exactly that. Jack! So we enter into the second half and it didn't take long for Paul to fashion a, a really reasonable chance courtesy of Marvin Brooks. And the second half followed the pattern of the first half. Paul were pretty dominant without creating any clear-cut chances. Swindon were hitting on the break, but again, just were very lacklustre. Always got a bit of time for a little cheeky flick. The visitor's best move and probably best chance of the entire game came courtesy of this move. McDonough finds Harry Spaulding and his cross is met flush on by Ryan Campbell, but it goes straight into Kearney's hands. Over an hour had passed at this point and the game was lacking any real kind of flashpoint. This is the closest we got. Jack Dixon miscontrolling, reaching the ball, but then it all kicks off a little bit. I'm just going to use this opportunity to call out Jamie Wiskin's performance today. Captain at the back, he headed everything away, cleared everything 
fantastic performance and my man of the match. We're approaching the end of the match now and uh, Swindon are pressing hard, trying to break down that poor defence that is so good. Here we have Henry Spalding testing Kearney, but the Dolphins keeper is very much on his game and got his fingertips for this. Baker having been on the pitch for 20 minutes or so, this was his first real opportunity. Sprinting free, getting a good shot in, but you have to credit the Swindon Supermarine keeper with a good save there. You know a game's been short on incident when a throw-in causes so much controversy. To be fair, the Swindon player does kick it out. Anyway, it wasn't long after that that the referee had seen enough and ended up blowing up for the final whistle. So, coming up on TV TV Sport next, on Tuesday, we're covering Paul Town against Merthyr Town. On Saturday, it's my first game at Wimborne Town as they take on Beckenfield Town. Next Saturday, it's Paul Town against Salisbury. And the Tuesday after, it's Paul Town against Truro City. I hope you've enjoyed these highlights. If you have, subscribe to my YouTube channel or get in touch on the socials. 